Okay, this is Jolie here for Seconds Out. Francis Ryan joins me here. Big start to the year, of course, the end of the month. Yard Baturbia finally here, second challenge against the Russian. And of course, today, the reason yeah. we're here is for Moses Atama, Karol Atama as well, big fight for him. But Moses, let's start on him, the reason, the main reason we're here today. Big heavyweight that's been talked about for a long time, just to inform people on who Moses Atama is. So Moses, obviously, he's, uh, he's just turned pro with, um, with Queensbury. So he'll be uh, managed by Champion Sports, which is, uh, which is myself. Be live and exclusive on BT Sport. Um, he's just had a phenomenal 2022 as an amateur. He won European and World Youth Gold um, with in spectacular fashion, and uh, he's decided to turn professional. And uh, delighted to to have him on board with us, and privileged to be a uh, part of the journey. So, why do you have him on such a big undercard as as this? So, Carol Atomo is, is his older brother. He's going to be fighting for his first title. He's going to fight for the WBC International. Um, light heavyweight title and the guys have never fought on the same car before so it was a bit of a, a bit of a dream of theirs and um, glad to make it happen and uh, both the guys are going to fight on the same night yeah. How long have you had this in mind? Obviously Carol's been signed to you guys for a while now but you manage Moses is this something that you've always planned him coming on well, to think, Queensbury? You know, obviously you I've obviously you know, known about Moses for a long time um, however he's been he's, you know, he's been with, team, team, you know, with, with the England team as an amateur Um I literally got, I, took, I think I took Moses' number on the on his birthday, which was the 29th of December, just gone. Obviously, we've been, we, you know, we've had a, we had a couple of initial chats, but for me, the um, the proof was in the pudding. Carol Atoma and I have have had a fantastic relationship. He's nine and zero after, you know, 24 months of of his of his career. He's boxed on two stadium shows this year, and um, Moses obviously likes what he's seen, and and he's decided to to uh, to, to sign with me and to sign with Queensbury. Yeah, now there's obviously the statement that I'm sure is going to get picked up by lots of different media outlets and obviously we're going to talk about it now. He said, I'm coming for the record, Mike Tyson, youngest heavyweight champion. How do you plan on accomplishing this for him? With realistic, cautious optimism. <laughs> it's, an, it's, 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 it's an ambition that a young 18-year-old man has got. He wants to, to beat that record and, um, you know, it, who are we to say to him, you can't have a dream, you can't have an ambition. I think it's achievable. I really do. He's going to fight eight times this year, eight times next year, um, if he stays injury free and the right fights are available at the right time. Um, and it's about how we manoeuvre him through, if and when we manoeuvre him through rankings at certain times. You know, it certainly won't be in his first four, six fights um, at the moment. Have, we don't know how he's going to look on the 28th of Jan and then his, his next fight will be six, seven weeks later. Um, if he's just absolutely icing people for fun, then we, we feel like we need to take that next step up a bit quicker, then we will do. If we feel like he's still in very early development stages, then we sit tight and we sit where we are. It's all about thinking on our feet and making sure that he gets the right opportunities at the right time. There's no rush to achieve that dream. It's just got to be very, very carefully crafted. Okay, and, and with Carol, he has been up until this point and now he gets his first title fight at the end of the month on the same card yeah absolutely listen he's, his last two fights um, I think have been have been decent decent challenges for him um, the last one was you know he went, went did a tough eight rounds uh, and, got, and got the stoppage so I think in terms of preparation for his first ten round title fight eight tough rounds and a stoppage on the, you know, in, the, in the same fight it's, 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 you know it couldn't have gone any better to be honest that's matchmaking for you mate <laughs> um, but you know we are we're thrilled with Carol. We're thrilled to have his brother on board, and uh, he's going to be, you know, continue the, the Atoma, ex, you know, the, the exciting Atoma story. Are these going to come as a package? You think on the same cards? No, I, that's that's not going to be, a, you know, a, a, you know, a, a necessity. Um, obviously, Carol's not going to fight eight times this year. Um, <laughs> but you know, if, if we can do it and it works, then great. But um, you know, it's not going to be. Well, he can't fight if one's not. You know, if Carol can't fight if Moses isn't ready and fit. They've got their individual careers, they've got their individual journeys. Um, and, yeah, of course, it's nice if, you know, they, they cross paths and, and they're on the same card in the future, but it's not a necessity. OK, now, on other news, in other news, one of the biggest fights of the entire year would be Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk, and there's, the talks are kind of ramping up as the, the year begins, and I'm sure the talks escalate. Where could you say we are today on the 10th of Jan? I've got no further news on that than what the statements my, uh, my dad made, uh, I think, last week. Okay. As for Joe Joyce, do you know anything about his next steps as well? He's, he's closer than ever we to this title. Should, we should know some news on him over the next couple of weeks. Is that going to be a step up? We'll see.
exciting stuff for the stable. How did you rank 2022 in comparison to, to Matchroom? Obviously, the two biggest in the UK. A lot of people now say Queensbury had an, an even better year with the heavyweights as well. Where did you rank that year in comparison to, to Matchroom? Well, you know, it's not about compar in comparison to anybody. I think what you do, we do is focus on what we do. Um, you know, we have two terrific stadium shows. Joe Joyce picked up a world title, Daniel DeWall picked up a world title, Denzel Bentley came very close to winning a world title um, and we had some phenomenal breakout stars in Hamza Shiraz, Dennis McCann, I think Sam Noakes, uh, Henry Turner, um, Pierce O'Leary, you know, had a great, great finish to the year, Louis Lynn um, and you know, Liam Davies. I think we've got, we're in a really, really solid position um, regarding the sort of like the next look group of guys coming through. Um, and uh, you know, heavyweight heavyweights winning more titles is that's the pinnacle of the sport. But I think if you look, you know, scratch beneath the surf surface, I think the most exciting thing for me is the guys that are coming through to secure the next three, four, five, six years. Um, you know, it's, it's it's we're in a really good position. Yeah, I guess David Adelaide I should obviously mention as well. I guess not so much coming through anymore, but Daniel Dubois is still one of the younger guys in comparison to the AJs, the Furies. Obviously an awkward performance last time, but he finished it well, he got the stoppage. How do you look back on that fight now? Have you spoke to him? What's, what's his update? Well, against Bryant. It's just hard work, the whole thing. Uh, it, was a, it was a really hard work of a promotion to be, 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 be around. Um, you know, from the four-hour press conference on the on the Tuesday to puddles of water on the you know in, in the arena on the fight more, on the fight on the fight day, um, Daniel did what he had to do. He went out there, got his head down, he got a win, and he got the belt. I mean, I, I wouldn't really say any more than that. Most recent fight as well. What did you make of that? I think um, he obviously got caught and but, you know showed the heart, heart of a lion to get up and uh, and to do what he did. He got a great stoppage against the, obviously a dangerous guy. Um, but yeah, I mean, he obviously, you know, he regrouped and a fantastic, fantastic stoppage win. Where do you think he can go from here? All the way. I think he could challenge and win. Well, you know, it's in the, he's in the mix. Definitely in the mix. I know you've got a lot of the the best heavyweights here at Queensbury. Um, when are these guys going to start fighting each other? There's been s small talks, but talks nevertheless with Joyce versus Fury, even Dubois versus both of them. Joyce versus. Um, Dubois too as well. Do we expect to see this potentially 2023? If it's right for both the guys at the right time, you know, it's uh, that's, that's that's the most simple answer I can give. You know, if it's right for the both guys and and, and there's appetite for it, why not? Okay, brilliant way to end it. Thank you very much, Fred.